Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon. And today I want to remind all of my brothers and sisters who are charismatic, that have the gifts of the spirit uh, working in your life, in your ministry, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, um, uh, prophecy, healings. The Bible clearly teaches us, my friends, that when we sincerely follow after Christ, we want to be like Christ. And one thing that our Lord and Savior did, he cast out devils. Jesus prophesied. Jesus had words of knowledge. The Bible tells us in John chapter 4 that when Jesus and his disciples was coming back from him teaching on the mount, that they were sitting at Abraham's well. When a Samaritan woman showed up, Jesus would have a conversation and he would ask this woman to go and get her husband knowing that this woman was not currently in a marriage situation and Jesus would go on to tell her that she had had uh, many husbands and the one she was with was not her husband and what we need to glean friends from the scriptures that are so clear in the New Testament when we really walk with God, we need to understand that the supernatural is what separates the believer from anyone else because God has given the gifts of the spirit to move and flow through us to help our fellow man. And this does include the casting out of devils. I want to say this, my friends, because Lately, the Lord has had me doing some research and what I'm finding is shocking to me. It's, it's unsettling because there are some bona fide prophets. These men and some of these women that I'm discovering, um, I wasn't aware of their ministries. They are profound in the supernatural. They are casting out devils. They are prophesying with great accuracy. They, they have words of knowledge. They have charisma. But let me remind all of us that we may remain sober, that we may remain humble before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that prophecy alone is very dangerous in carrying these manifestations and this fact right here. Even a broken clock could be correct twice in one day. What that tells us, friends, we can flow in the gifts and be out of the will of God because we have broken fellowship with him because of our pride. We don't talk enough, brothers and sisters, about pride and arrogance. Do we not realize that Aaron, who was Moses' brother, has sinned against God, helping Israel. Actually, it was Aaron that fashioned the golden calf. And while Moses was up on the mountain receiving the commandments of the Lord, Aaron would allow the murmuring of the people to bring him to a place of disobedience to build what they came out of a golden calf for them to, to, to worship. And friends, the Bible says also that Aaron spoke against Moses in Numbers chapter 12 and one. Exodus chapter 32 is where he fashioned that golden calf and Israel began to worship it. Hear me very close, my friends. The gifts of the spirit, if we do not walk in humility, if we are not careful hear me very closely friends if we are not careful god allowed aaron to continue in his leadership position but when they got ready to cross over into the promised land of canaan god spoke to moses and told him to remove aaron's vestments to, to strip him down. And this was done in front of the community of the Israelites. Numbers chapter 20. Hear me today, brothers and sisters. Those of you that are profound in prophecy, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, casting out devils. Friends, hear me today. Moses, under the command of God, stripped Aaron of his vestments and Aaron died. He did not walk into Canaan. God has said that he wouldn't. 
because of what he did in Numbers chapter 32 that pretty much instigated a revolt against God. I need you to hear me because what I'm seeing, brothers and sisters, is when you start promoting and basking in the supernatural, when you start making light of how accurate you are as a prophet or a prophetess and how demons um, 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 submit to your commands and you're, you're gloating in this. Friends, this is pride. This is pride. And I encourage you, my friends, to be careful because it is dangerous because you can become an enemy of God because of your pride, but God lets you stand in that position because of the people. We see the same with Saul. King Saul was the first king of Israel. He was also stripped and God put the anointing on David. And the word of God tells us that Saul continued to be king, but God was gone. And friends, if we're not careful, we can instigate God, God's grace lifting off of our lives because of pride. God hates pride, but he will still use you, leave that mantle to prophesy words of wisdom and knowledge, all of it. But God is waiting for you, my friend. You and I, the word of God says that the gifts and the callings come without repentance. Friends, we, we, we best to understand because you're accurate, a, a broken clock is too, twice in a day. We got to understand, we got to do the work, my friends, to walk circumspectly, to make sure that we're checking ourselves. Just like Paul said, Paul said that he beat his body. He kept it in submission, lest he become a castaway after he has preached the gospel of Jesus. So even Paul, who speaks to us, about the gifts of the spirit in first Corinthians chapter 12, he was even concerned how he walked with God because he understood the terror of the Lord. As much as we know God's love has drawn us to redemption. My friend, don't play with these gifts. Don't walk in pride. Don't think because God is allowing you to go forth in accuracy and in power to help set people free that you ain't on his list because it's up to you and I to check ourselves to walk circumspectly, to make sure that we are not allowing the people to lift us up, that we're not allowing the people to cause our chest to swell because we're casting out devils, we're prophesying, we're accurate. Oh no, my friend, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be like Aaron when it's my time to cross out of the body, huh, I don't get to enter because of pride and arrogance. Oh my friend, hear me today. Enough has been said. I beseech every last one of you, my friend, to read the, the story of Numbers in chapter 20 where God spoke to Moses about Aaron. He said, take Aaron up there, on the, right up here on this mount. Strip him down because he not going in. So, so that tells me Aaron wasn't sick. It, Aaron wasn't sick. God was judging Aaron because Aaron instigated a revolt of the people against God. And friends, when you are basking in pride, and usually where you see this disposition on these prophets and prophetess, you see materialism, you see the Gucci. I just did the video the other day, the Gucci, you see the Louis Vuitton, you see all these brands, you see all these expensive cars, you see all of this basking in materialism, you hear them constantly, constantly constantly promoting this false doctrine of sowing seed to get blessings from God. Friends, we better wake up and don't forget as I close the exhortation, this clock will come around in about 12 more hours, nine, 17 and a half, hmm, and, and maybe 18 seconds is coming around again. Think about it, my friends. Think about it. We must examine our hearts because the supernatural God uses prophecy for comfort and exhortation and edification of the brethren. But if you slip away from him because of your pride, he could leave that on you and strip you. God have mercy. He or she that has an ear to hear. Till next time, my friends, God bless.